Hello everybody, Brickmaster5000 here, and since Demo 2 is happening tomorrow, you know, the, uh, the mission where SpaceX is going to launch its first crew into orbit and to the space station, yeah, I'm excited for that, but I decided to make this little build. It's uh, a space shuttle with launch pad, even though the space shuttle is retired, the space shuttle will always fly in my mind. Not really, because it was really dangerous. But let's just take a look at the build. The first thing you can notice, obviously, the giant space shuttle is not from... I didn't build it. The orbiter itself came from a set. I just built the external tank and the boosters and the launch tower. Um, as you can tell, this is... The launch tower is from a firefighter set that I, like a, from a fire truck or something that I took apart. Uh, there's a guy here from the ISS. Uh, yeah, not much to look at. There's a winch here for some reason. I decided to add this in to not only to have some extra detail, also to, uh, you know, to lift up parts that were too heavy. Uh, this opens up for some reason. If I can get it to open up there, I don't know why it does that, but I mean, I, I just try to use a, a lot of pieces that would look good and two bars here. I don't know why. And there's no elevator in here. There's just like studs here. So just imagine there's a there's an elevator there. The fuel tank is up here. This yellow thing, a little antenna. The, what's supposed to be the arm that holds in the external tank, the top of the tank before launch, and, hold on. As you already saw, the guy's here, and this is supposed to be the bridge where they move on to the shuttle. And it's a Sally ride there because she was the first woman to ride one of these things, and... Yeah. <laughs> oh, knocked out one of the trees. Timber. Okay, uh, let's just look at the shuttle now. So with the shuttle off the pad, now you can see it more clearly. I mean, you could you could clearly see it really clearly in, on the pad, but to see it in more detail, you know? So the boosters do fall off. The external tank does fall off. Let me just show that now. The booster separation. Booster one. And booster two. Oh yeah, guys, you wanna know how the Challenger exploded? Uh, I know, why do we keep making jokes about a tragedy? I'm surprised I haven't been making jokes about the Titanic. <laughs> no, but uh, never mind. just forget I said that. Uh, yeah, both boosters were detached and they just fall back into the ocean to be reused. I mean, they're not really reused, are they? Oh my god, the irony of the space shuttle, that a reusable ship was actually going to be more costly <laughs> than just ditching the parts altogether and just not reusing them. What I'm trying to say is, the shuttle, it was going to be reusable, but ironically, its reusability caused it to be more expensive. Oh my god. Oh, and I turned off the music because it was annoying. Well, it's not annoying. I, I, I should not say that about T-Lopes. T-Lopes is godly in making music, but I mean, I wanted to listen to another theme, but I didn't want to make the cut seem weird because two different types of music and yeah. Uh, and the orbiter just falls off like that. That's how it's attached. And the boosters are attached with Technic pieces, as you already saw. Uh, And the orbiter itself, spin it around like this, uh, it's from a set already, so I don't have to go into full detail of it. Yay, good. Uh, inside the payload is what you will find in the normal set, in the, the shuttle transporter from Creator, the satellite. I mean, I changed one thing, this used to be transparent blue, like like the panel, but I used it for a lightsaber, so I changed it. Uh, 
so th I think that's it. That's the, the whole space shuttle launch system. Uh, this is STS-137. Uh, yeah, this is STS-137. What? STS-135 was the last one? Who was it? It was STS-137. Uh, uh, Pioneer. Yeah, that's what the shuttle was called. <laughs> Just kidding. That's basically it for this build. Like this video if you like this build. And, uh, please comment, like, and subscribe if you're a new... Uh, if you're new watching this channel, I don't really have an outro for these videos. Oh my god, I sound so stupid. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, now that I'm talking about comments, I was talking via comment to this guy named Connor Brown. He's like, he's a really cool guy. Just, um, I think I, you know persuaded him to start his own youtube channel i mean he does but he doesn't upload anything so yeah hope uh connor if you're watching this can uh hopefully you start uploading i would love to see what you come up with on your youtube channel so and subscribe if you're new i think i already said that and this just wraps up this video so i don't have anything else to say bye and we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 17 seconds and count. 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, start, start, 2, 1,